be no need for guns because everyone's amazing. That <laughs> yes. would be the best. One hundred percent. But pretending that everyone's the best without fixing all the problems that make people fucked up in the first place while trying to remove guns so only outlaws have guns is the dumbest fucking strategy in every it's city so that stupid. pulls that off like Chicago or Detroit or any of these places that try that shit it's a disaster in a fucking war zone you know i mean there's more people get murdered in chicago right. every weekend than probably any city in the country the places with the strictest gun laws yeah. have the most violence yeah it's fucking dumb it doesn't work that way you have to you have to look at things realistically and then you have to look at the root of the problem instead of looking at the actions don't look at the actions look at what causes the actions extreme poverty despair gang ridden crime ridden neighborhoods if you don't fix them you're going to keep getting the same kind of people that come out of there so that is where we we spent 175 billion dollars on ukraine <laughs> that's so crazy we, we could dude. have easily fixed all of our inner city problems we could have set up community centers given people nutritious food we could have like completely renovated the schools fixed the schools brought in athletes and musicians and people to do seminars and show people how they can get out of things teach people trade life skills life skills teach people things that you can use you can apply you can get jobs show them how they get jobs you know there's a lot of people that are fucked man they're fucked and there's no they have no one reaching a hand to try to help them out and we could have done that scarcity for, dude that's scarcity but is that on purpose yeah I, I don't think it is I think they're acting in the interest of the people that pay them and the interest of the people that pay them is supporting the military industrial complex the pharmaceutical industrial complex and then the, all the people that give them money keep getting more money from them and ignore all the other people this is what I think they're doing and, and this is what I think they're doing with voting as well. I mean, I think it's the exact same thing. The, the reason why they're letting in so many people and giving them money and putting them up in hotels and then asking for amnesty for all these people that came in. We need people. They, this is like this new narrative. We're not having enough babies. We need people to come into this country. Sure. Not that way. Yeah. Not where you don't know yeah. who the fuck they yeah. are. We'd like to 15, vet them. 15,000 of them are rapists. 14,000 of them are murderers, convicted murderers. It's like this is just what we know. It's like you're having a party and you're like, oh, there's not a lot of people there. Sounds like I'll invite a bunch of people. Go and you're to like, South Central. Who, who, who? Open up the doors. Find, yeah. find the gangbangers. Yeah, bring them in. But yeah. then you study, you study a lot of this stuff and, and it just gets into like, I, I think like this kind of like dark energy stuff, man. It's like, if you study like what they did to the Native Americans, if you study what they did to the the, the black community, they run the same playbook over and over again, right. which is take take like if you study the natives, right? They took they killed all the buffalo, which mean took away all the guy, jobs from the guys. They That's flooded. a little more complicated. That the Native American story is a little more complicated, but it's in that, a, in that regard because the buffalo thing. What there's some evidence that some people were killing the buffalo to deprive the Native Americans of food, but most of it was just wanton and destructive recklessness and just like greed, just horrible greed. Yeah. You know what they were doing it for? Pickled tongues. That was the primary That's thing crazy. they were getting. Before they were even getting skins from the buffalo, they were getting tongues. Tongues was like one of the big things because you could take them, you could pickle them, you could send them back east, and they were worth a lot of money. That's crazy. Because the buffalo tongue's like that big. Yeah. So they're shooting this 1,800-pound animal for a fucking 10-pound tongue. It's nuts. And then, you know, yeah. the guys didn't have, the, the males, the men didn't have jobs. And, yes. And the women always had jobs because they had children, and that was their job. And then you look at the black community. They did that exact same thing with the crack epidemic. They took away all the jobs. They flooded it with drugs. They locked up all the men destroyed the community and now you see that kind of happening in the bigger cities now where it's like I, w I was flying on this one airline I forget what it is and they were like we're training only women now to be pilots and I'm like is, is that the best idea right here? How about I mean, train the best humans? If 100%. they happen to be women, great yeah. if, they, if they're not women, don't hire them. So you're taking hire away the best people taken away from jobs from guys and like as men we're but you know what that is that's all that dei stuff where they have to like in order to get funding you know in order to like there's there's a financial incentive right to meet dei quotas a lot but of companies why? are abandoning them now yeah 100 well, all of it happened during the obama administration yeah have you ever seen we, we showed it yesterday on the podcast was it yesterday or the day before um the spike 
in what racism uh, yeah, 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 and yeah. all Dave, these things I, I on social Dave's media. talk about that one time. All of it comes up at 2012. It just starts at 2011 and just spikes thousands and thousands of the articles the mentions in the oh newspapers God. It just in all mentions on social media all of a sudden became a big thing and then you have all your race hustlers who are taking advantage of these dei quotas and they provide seminars for exorbitant rates this is the al sharpton hustle the jesse jackson yep. hustle you know all those there's a lot of those guys that capitalize on white guilt and got in with a fucking nice fucking deal. paycheck dude big cash yeah, making crazy. big money i want shrimp cocktail in the green room you know like <laughs> <laughs> for diversity you know hook me up with some dom perignon and they you know they pulled it off and that's what you're always going to have you're you're always going to have people that take advantage of any kind of a situation like that and i think but that one seems to be I don't think they realized the impact it was going to have. I think they were just trying to push a narrative that people were racist and like we should not be racist. And it was like a good talking point for the Obama administration. But then it it spread to transphobia and homophobia. It, it just went wild. Yeah, they're just looking for xenophobia. stuff. I, yeah. I, I, I think it's a, there's a bigger play. And it's divide and conquer, and these are these are playbooks that plays in the playbook that they run to do this. And you know, it's like for me, it's like study the Cultural Revolution of China, study the Bolshevik Revolution of of Russia. Mm -hmm. the, and, and, and I'm sorry, but people can think I'm crazy. But what the Nazis did to Germany, it's it's like these are these are playbooks to destroy these these giant powerful countries that you can't just invade you because you'll get your dick kicked in so you have to kind of destroy from inside and i i think everything you're talking about right now is out of a playbook of cultural marxism that this is how you destroy from the inside and like that yuri bevanoff or whatever his last name yeah. is dude i just saw another video he did where like and the guy ruined it by putting up all these stupid pictures and it made it way more weaponized than it needed to be but man he breaks down how you break down society there's a couple videos one of him sitting down down, and then there's one where he's giving a seminar and bro he breaks down every single step mm -hmm. and you go that's happening right now that's happening right now that's yeah, they've happening. destroyed the confidence that people have yes. in america they've destroyed the faith in america people think that the american flag is racist <laughs> it's so crazy it's so crazy schools will kick you out if you come in with an american flag t-shirt like this is bananas it is but yet, crazy pride flags are mandatory in some places it's so crazy to me and I, i'm working on this bit right now because like everything in television is like civil war there's gonna be a civil war there's gonna be war movies and i'm like between who like the right and the left that, that's gonna sounds like a curb stomping to me it's like you're gonna have like the rednecks versus the furries and like who, who's fighting here dude it's like ridiculous and because like they it's gotten so crazy that like 